night job. Go to bed. What will you do? I'll buy you more lunch if you need. I need to to sleep. That's what people mean when they say goodnight. I'm not leaving. John. I, I'm not. I'm fine. You're not and I'm not, so here I'll stay. Then neither of us will rest. No, sleep. Neither of us will sleep. I can't rest when I know you're sitting right there worrying about me. Don't you have a book to worry you? I don't care about the book. I'm not bothering with it. Not now. Yes, you are. Not now. Is it? Did I skip? Is it? I no, you're good. Go? Yes, now. Your sons. Yes, now. Your sons may never have seen. I never see, and I've never seen you happier, or more full of life, or handsomer. Uh, Will's words made you, John. <laughs> I know Will's words made you, John. Return the favor. Handsome. That was in a thing for men in makeup. Well, you married a player, and then they'll put the manners in. I know who I married. And your heart, you're a player still. The heart's what matters. No play has sent me to my knees and then up again and running through the streets as last night. Nothing is worth more than you. Is it then listen to me? Mm -hmm. Then listen to me. You can move that pillow. You don't have to use that pillow to get to bed last night. Alf it off. It's like too much of a pillow. It helps, but I need a second pillow. Because then I'm like, right now. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Then listen to me. So I said, when the world grew dark, no, yeah, when the world grew dark, where did you turn? When our sweet Mary died? Yes. Then young John, then our Lizzie? Lord bless them. Never knew how people went on after so much loss, but somehow they do. We did. Every day someone's worse. At least ours we had together. You brought off so much better than I did. No, you didn't. We'll bear it as we can. Most people would go to church. But you went to the globe. You know I did it? I know you went there. Alone at night? Why? What did you do there? See Will? No. Henry? No. I would just speak. It seems childish, but I'd stand on the boards and speak. And the whole steers in the dark and put a candle to my side. I'd recite speeches. Hammer. To King John, anything to direct the rage, the pain, the endless pain of it. They've always held more solace than priests. But plays held more solace than priests. They always did in that respect. I'm supposed to be quiet in church. That I could not do. Not when God asked me to hold that much in my heart. I could not do that. You needed words. Yes. They were alive for me. Yes, they are. Yes. Where's our candle? The book, John. I looked for it, couldn't find it. The book, John. The book. When the world gets too dark. Too dark to bear. The words, John, there's light in them. Yes, life. There's life in them. Yes, life. Good night, John. Good night. Good night. Sweet prince. Dear John. Am I flights of angels? Wait a minute. Am I supposed to already, am I supposed to move faster and be standing on there by the time? Okay, hold on. You need to be up here by rest. Just really big steps backwards, that's all. <laughs> so I can only back up one step. Okay, and then so I can walk the rest. Back. I'm back. Cool. So I can't back up that fast.
Good night, John. Good night. Good night. Sweet prince. Dear John. I may flights of angels. Sing thee tonight. Rest. It's late. John, come with me. Come home. There is no home without her. There is nowhere to go. I know it feels that way. I know it does. You can come with me. Why? Because this is the hardest thing you'll ever go through. And I won't have you go through it alone. Elizabeth insists that you come with us. Come with me. Come eat. I have never thought food as useless as I do now. All right then. And then we'll both start. On stage. In the dark. When my first boy died, I couldn't imagine a God, a loving God, that would have any part in such a thing. And I told him so in my prayers. Silent, of course, I know I'd be the one six feet in the ground if anyone heard what I thought of God and his taking and taking and taking. But then I realized the weight of all the grieving father's prayers that must hit God every night. It must sound so much like my own. Sons who lost fathers, husbands without wives, and mothers. Oh God, the mothers. All that grief from God's ear constantly. And then I felt sorry for God which made me laugh, which made me feel alive again. It's funny how that works out, isn't it? That's a good story. Why do we bother? With what? With stories, dramas, especially the dramas. Grown men dressing up as kings and queens why do we bother with any of them? Because stories are real in their own way. No. Real life keeps going on and on and the endings aren't right and the villains aren't caught and, and it's rough seas and it's dark days and we sit here in this barn telling fictions for living dreamers. And it's false and it's hot air, and I need it. When I have nothing left to say, I need it. When I hurt so much, I can't breathe, I need it. When I've got a horse, my heart is running and pounding, running me down, I need it. John, John, am I godless? I look to fairies and false kings instead of holy people. Does that a heathen make? No, of course not. I. I cannot breathe without her. I cannot breathe at, at home or, or in the street or in the yard where now she lies. I cannot breathe in this world. But here, here I am come and I am lulled into meaning and that is the greatest fiction of all meaning, anything. And God and his angels mock us every ending we play, but the tragic ones for us, they aren't tragedies yet, they will soon enough be. Stories of forged lights, lights of tempest of lost. Why do we bother with 
any of it. To feel again. I feel enough. I said to feel again. It's a miracle of it. The fairies aren't real, but the feeling is. And it comes to us here. Groundlings and players alike. Again and again here. Your favorite story just ended? Come back tomorrow. We'll play it again. If you don't like the story you're in, another one starts in an hour. Come here. Come again. Feel here. Feel again. John, history walks here. Love is lived here. Loss is met and wept for and understood and survived here. And not just the first time, but every time. We play love's first look and life's last here every day. And you will see yourself in it or your fear or your future before the play's end. And you will test your heart with trouble and joy. And every time you will feel a flicker or a fountain of feeling. And that is what reminds you that yes, you are yet alive. And that is more than God can give us in his ample silence. And then it's over. And we players stand up. And we take a bow. Because the story was told well enough. It's time for another. It is my lady. It is my love. Oh, but she knew she was. Join her yet. She spoke about the book. She insists. Well, she always was wiser than you were. 